So funding options and at this phase, of course, you could already see to join accelerators, depending on if it's a fit for what they are looking for. You definitely can seek for grants. So grants, uh, uh, if you are in, in Europe or, uh, or other countries that are working closely with Europe and have rights to get uh, access to Horizon 2020 instrument, this is a very good one. Um, it's uh, it's a quite significant grant money, so it's not loan, it's not equity based, uh, but it also have a, a pretty high competition. And uh, and uh, I'm actually also doing uh, occasionally some of these evaluating the proposals that are sent to SME instruments, so I get a good view and perspective on what type of businesses, companies, startups, and what development phases they are. Uh, what have they done? How are they convincing? Uh, trying to convince to to get that funding, uh, but it's a very it's a very friendly friendly funding for 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 companies if you can if you can get high enough score to be funded with that. It's never dependent on any individual evaluator's uh, outcome. It's only based on a collective outcome of several evaluators doing scoring with predefined logic. <clears throat> pre-sales, you can do crowdfunding um, or you can do just pre-sales in, in directly or directly on your own, but crowdfunding platforms is the play, best place to see and learn how others are doing it, but you can also just do it uh, as project work or you can do it in many different ways. And the benefit of pre-sales as a funding source is that it, it's, of course, a validation at the same time. Whereas accelerators is not really a validation. It's an indicator, but it's not a validation. Grants is an indicator. It's not a validation. Horizon 2020, indicator, not a validation. Pre-sale, validation at the same time, as it's also money. Competitions, basically this is the business plan competitions, the idea competitions. There are types of money that is based on competition. SME instrument is like that in a certain way. So even if the instrument is there, there are fixed budgets, but it's competition that every round that gets funded, only you, everyone gets scores. And even oftentimes there are more companies that get uh, qualified for the funding. But because there are so many, they just cut from whoever, uh, how much the money in that cycle is enough, and then they cut it from whoever got the score below that. Business angels, of course, and that's, that's a relevant funding uh, option here. Um, and then, of course, the typical friends and family members and your own self-finance, but those we already covered in the formation phase. But anything that was available earlier is, of course, applicable also at this phase. The tools and resources, so we have referred, we have discussed about many of these tools. So we have here some list of, of resources to look after or go check out. Uh, in our website, we have plenty of more. Uh, but, but these are specifically now in context of, of this presentation and of course uh, you can find yourself much, much more with, with the right keywords. But these are the ones that I, I, because I didn't go too much into detail of how can you do wireframes and how can you create a mock-up of the product. So, so this YouTube video, the ideation framework uh, by Josh Wexler, it's a great, very I'm not sure how long it is, maybe an hour, two hours, and it went in that time it goes through a real exercise with those actually doing it in a school setting. Uh, and so it, it showed how effective it is, not only the theory itself. Um, the business model and value proposition canvas, the original creator and their current organization. <coughs> Validation board, there's a great video how to use that board. That's why I didn't go into doing too much of, much of that. <coughs> and they have some additional real tools that you can use. Uh, the key, quick MVP as a resource, if you want to try that out. Uh, I said, haven't tried out, but it looks so um, 
holistic in the in the context that is definitely worth looking into. And there's one one uh, interesting like sometimes it may may be difficult to know like how even if you define the success and you look at all the numbers and you get this you have the gut feeling and sense but sometimes it's still maybe like are we there yet are we not there yet so there's a great video about like just like a person explaining like what all the different things that they did and when they hit the product market fit how it made them feel and how it looked different compared to the other things where they felt that they already have it and of course google analytics is, is something that you will definitely worth starting uh, starting and getting getting to uh, using um, it's flexible you can do many things with that but of course it's not not necessarily as easy but you can build your own funnels using any types of uh, uh, sources uh, you can get the metrics and, and, and so forth and there are other tools of course some even better depending on what you what you're doing and you need different tools for example if you're doing an application in the app market and, and, and so forth or may use and then here uh, we have the, the other resources that referred of course lean startups by Eric Weiss the original creator and the base principles and you can from this topic there's an endless amount of information but there's such an overdominance with this uh, compared to how many other things are available and are useful and needed uh, specifically the organization side team building side formation side ideation side um, and also what comes after on the scaling side that it's important to really get this notion that there's uh, a lot more to look into there's the Steve Blank, of course, has great resources, has been one of the huge contributors for, for everything in the landscape. But the, the challenge a little bit comes, um, what, what, what is with this knowledge that I so much American person or expecting that every ecosystem or starting point has similar levels of capital available, and that uh, some of the tactics or things are not as effective uh, elsewhere where the, the, the market is so underdeveloped or the landscape of understanding about startups and so forth is not so developed. So it's sometimes hard to read what's useful, what is not useful, but definitely it's, it's, it's one of the, the best resources there and still blank definitely don't push too much of the investor angle. Uh, so it's that's great as well. Lean Canvas, uh, very great, a lot of good blogs and videos and knowledge. Um, it's a version of the business model canvas, so definitely take a look at that. For A-B testing, Unbounce uh, as a tool, A-B testing, so they make it, if the quick MVP helps you create at least one landing page effectively, the A-B testing helps you create uh, effectively multiple versions of the page so that you can try, for example, with Google Ads, put 100 there, drive a certain amount of certain types of customers to your site. They do automatic A-B testing, one version of the page, the other version of the page, and then getting outcome of that, uh, which one would get better conversion rates. Uh, building habits, this was the, 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 uh, the, the, the original source for us, where we find uh, initially this uh, habit building concept um, a while back long time ago when it started and, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a great resource for that it's a quite narrow subsegment uh, and it, but it's a very useful concept specifically going further with the product not so much at the initial validation phase but um, we wanted to include it in this phase to, uh, to basically get a perspective of, of um, of getting that mindset also into play because it can be useful in the, in, the, in the very early phase of building the product as well. And then when going towards um, this phase and, and doing more of the launch and going towards the scale, there's a great collection of strategies, tactics and tips uh, for around this phase by Closio. Um, and uh, it's, it's a great, great resource for this, but also many other things. Uh, 
uh, it's a very sales oriented content, but um, but but many many great entrepreneurial advices shared uh, by the founder there as well. So good credibility for them for their their validated learnings that they are sharing. And of course, finally. You can go to YouTube for any of the relevant keywords and you can find hours and hours from any single topic. YouTube is pretty good in prioritizing the best content on top, uh, but sometimes you can find gems a, deep, a bit deeper down or after you watch other one, one video or start to watch it, see what other recommendations it give, uh, you can get a lot of, but always know the purpose of why you're watching something what are you looking to get answers to? What learning are you trying to improve? That is in context. Take control of your own business development. Keep control of your business development. Don't let the distractions take you elsewhere. But use and learn what you need to learn when you need to accumulate that learning and work based on that. An additional tip when you look for <coughs> YouTube videos is that that uh, the two combination of uh, Google search with images on, see what kind of easy tools, visual tools you can get as a, as a tip. And then if you can find YouTube, start, start try scrolling and see if they are using some visualization in addition to just explaining or written content or just com too complex imaging. Uh, you can often get a much easier start if you just know that they have some visualization there to help help uh, communicate some complexities. And if you look at Google image search, you see what type of kind of visualization tools people are trying to do, what others have done. Also, SlideShare uh, is a good resource uh, additionally uh, as well for, for similar summarized approaches. And then you can take once you get the top content in, in, in this kind of more helpful way, then you can go and Google all the written context and deeper research. But it, it makes it easier to consume deeper knowledge when you get the main concepts in a, in a more visualized uh, way. So this is the end of module three.